Welcome back to our class. Let's continue our discussion for the key technical challenges to optical communication in the next decade. In this chapter, we'll continue to discuss the force chain. Can optical channel algorithms break through the nonlinear problems? Before we get into this topic, let's first review what is nonlinear effect. In WDM system, a single wavelength ranges from 2.5 gigabits per second to 10 gigabits per second and from 10 gigabits per second to 40 gigabits per second. It has been facing a series of physical limitations. Even if the rate is increased to 100 gigabit per second or 800 gigabit per second in the future, these physical limitations still exist. In addition, the transmission impairment caused by nonlinear effect is more severe in the high speed era. This factor directly limits the transmission distance of ultra high speed systems. The development of ultra high speed system technology is also a process of constantly overcoming the influence of these factors and allowing the signal to travel farther. One of the problems that we have to face in hyperspeed system is the influence of nonlinear effect on the system. So what are nonlinear effects? Simply put, the optical signal transmission affects the optical fiber medium, which in turn affects the transmission of the optical signal. The nonlinear effect of the optical fiber medium comes from the nonlinear polarization effect of the optical fiber. When the incident optical power exceeds a certain value, the optical power density in the core diameter of the optical fiber is too high because the effective cross-sectional area of the optical fiber is small. And the nonlinear polarization of the optical fiber material is induced. With the emergence of WDM systems, the wavelength division multiplexing technology enables one fiber to carry multiple channels. With the use of fiber amplifiers, high power multi wavelength optical signals are coupled into one fiber and converge on a very small interface. And the fiber begins to exhibit nonlinear characteristics and becomes a key factor limiting the transmission performance. Nonlinear effects can be divided into Kerr effect related to light intensity and stimulated scattering related to energy transfer. Kerr effects include cell-phase modulation SPM, cross-phase modulation XPM, and four-wavelength mix FWM. Cell-phase modulation the reflective index of the transmission medium changes with the light intensity. As a result, the phase of the incident light change and the signal spectrum is broadened. Cross-phase modulation. It is the interaction of the light in different channels. Also broadens the signal spectrum. The third one, four wavelength mix. The incident light caused the medium to generate third order polarization. As a result, several phase matched light waves of different wavelengths interact with each other to generate new light waves at other wavelengths. The second category, it is the stimulated scattering. Stimulated scattering including stimulated Raman scattering, SRS and stimulated brillowing scattering, SBS. Stimulated Raman scattering in which incident light interacts with the atoms in the transmission medium to generate low frequency photons. Light energy at short wavelengths high frequencies is transferred to light at long wavelengths and low frequencies. Raman amplifiers, which are often used in long haul spans, take the advantage of this nonlinear effect. For the stimulated brillowing scattering, in which incident light interacts with the transmission medium, 
produces acoustic phonons through electrostriction while generating opposite low frequency photons. This is characterized by an increase in the optical power opposite to the incident light direction. From the preceding explanation, we can see that the nonlinear effect will cause signal distortion in the system. In this case, how should we compensate for the nonlinear effect in the WDM network? First, we need to know which factors are related to the nonlinear effect of optical fibers. The strength of the fiber nonlinear effect is related to the incident optical power, spectrum width of the optical signal, modulation pattern, fiber dispersion coefficient, optical channel algorithm, and numbers of spans. The higher the modulation rate of the optical signal, the lower the tolerance to the nonlinear effect of the optical fiber. The larger the effective area of the optical fiber, the higher the tolerance of the system to the nonlinear effect. If the system has a proper dispersion, instead of having no dispersion or having a small dispersion, the anti nonlinearity capability of this system can be improved. Based on the above knowledge, we can avoid the nonlinear effect from the source by reducing the incident optical power, use fibers with a large effective area, good dispersion management, and use advanced light source technologies. However, as the transmission capacity in the system becomes larger and larger, and the transmission distance become longer and longer, to overcome the poorer nonlinear tolerance caused by the increase of the modulation rate, New breakthrough in the modulation technologies and algorithms must be sought. Currently, there are two ideas for compensating the nonlinear effect of optical fibers. First, use the digital reverse transmission algorithm at the receiving end to compensate the nonlinear effect of the fiber. Secondly, we can use the transmit end signals we can encode the transmit end signals at the transmit end, and we can generate the signals with better nonlinear fiber performance. Currently, the major research institutions, including Huawei, we are constantly working on the above two ideas, and the compensation effect for nonlinearity is becoming more and more obvious. We believe that in the future, the nonlinearity problems that has been approached by optical communication system will definitely make substantial breakthroughs. Finally, let's make a brief summary. In this chapter, we discuss the nonlinear effects of the optical communications. We first introduce various nonlinear effects in optical communication which can be divided into two types. One is the Kerr effect, which includes self-phase modulation, SPM, cross-phase modulation, XPM, and four-wavelength mix, FWM. The other is stimulated scattering. These are related to energy transfer. It includes stimulated Raman scattering, SRS, and stimulated Verilorin scattering SBS. The second part is the influence of nonlinear effect on the optical signal. Nonlinear effects mainly cause transmission damage to the system. This can result in signal distortion and limit the transmission performance. In the third part, we also introduce the factors that influence the nonlinear effects. This includes the incident optical power, spectrum width of the optical signals, modulation pattern characteristics, fiber dispersion coefficient, optical channel algorithm, and numbers of spans. Accordingly, we also can take some measures against these factors to avoid the nonlinear effects. For example, reduce the incident optical power, use fibers with large effective area, manage the dispersion, 
and use advanced light source technologies. Finally, as the transmission capacity in the system becomes larger and the transmission distance becomes longer and longer, we must seek some new breakthroughs in the modulation technology and algorithm. There are two new approaches to compensate for fiber nonlinearity. First of all, use the digital reverse transmission algorithm at the receiving end to compensate the nonlinear effect of the fiber. Secondly, the transmit end signals are encoded at the transmit end to generate signals with better nonlinear performance. These are the two options. That's what we have covered in this section. Next, let's use two simple questions to consolidate the content for this section. First, it's a single choice question. Which of the following nonlinear effects is used, is utilized by the Raman amplifier? A, SPM. B, four-way flame mixing. C, SRS. D, SBS. We just mentioned if you know the abbreviation for this nonlinear effect, you can answer it easily. The answer is C, stimulated Raman scattering, SRS. The second question, it is a multi-choice question. What are the traditional methods of dealing with nonlinear effects? A, reduce the incident optical power. B, use of large effective area fiber. C. Good dispersion management. D. Advanced light source technology. The answer is obviously A, B, C, D. Reducing incident optical power, use fibers with large effective area, good dispersion management, and advanced light source technologies. All these can cope with nonlinear effects. So the correct answer is A, B, C, D. Well, that's all for this chapter. Thank you.